Welcome back to another session on data structures and algorithms. So today we are solving one more problem based on matrix and this particular problem I would like to categorize it as easy problem itself. So if you ask me what exactly the problem is, you are given a two dimensional matrix or a two dimensional array. So something like this is what you would be getting. Now all that you need to do in this is you need to reverse this particular matrix or you need to mirror this particular matrix. Now if you ask me how. This is what exactly you need to do. I'll observe one thing over here. This is the matrix. For example, if you keep a mirror over here, when you keep a mirror over here, how would the elements over here look like? So just concentrate on the elements. So the element which is there in index 4 or in the last index would come first. Next, what is there in the second would come second. Or I can say all the elements in this row will come over here. Next, all the elements next to it will come behind this and that this is how it will look. So this matrix is what is expected as an output. So how can you solve this? Very simple. I want you guys to observe this per two of the matrix, whichever is the input and whichever is the output. And if you just observe this and observe their indexes, you will clearly understand what is that you have to do to actually achieve this out particular output. So I want you guys to pause the video over here and uh, take a pen and paper, think about this particular logic, write the logic, write the code if you are not, if you are coming up with some logical errors, fix that uh, code by uh, debugging it properly and then in case if you are not able to do it at all, only then come back and watch this particular video. I hope you were able to write the code by yourself. In case if you are still watching, I would assume that either you did not even try solving this problem or you were not successful in solving this problem. And in case if you didn't even try solving this problem, I am really disappointed. In case if you are not, if you tried and if you are not able to do, then it's totally fine for me. So now let's see how can we solve this particular problem. So I would like to divide this problem to smaller units. Now what exactly would I do? First, let's observe this and see one thing. The element which is present in 0, 0, where exactly does it come when it's mirrored is what I need to see. So when it's mirrored, it comes in the same row but it comes as the last element in that particular row. So 1 would come in the last index. Then what happens to the last in, uh, element which is there in the last index? Simple, whatever is there in the last index would go to the, uh, to the first index or to the 0th index. So basically what you are doing is the first element and the last element in the same row you, are, you need to swap. Not just that. See the next element, the element which is there in 0, 1, Z, uh, 0 row and first element or index 1 element that is 6. Where should that come in the output? It should actually come to index 3 or I can say to the last second index. So this is the last index, this is the last second index. So it comes to the last second index. And where, uh, and where does the element which is there in the last second index go? It goes all the way to the second index or index 1. So basically again the second index and the last second index gets swapped. And what happens to the element which is there in the center? It remains in the same place because once you reverse this or mirror this, it will remain in the same place. So I hope you already got the logic when I just showed you this particular thing. In case if you didn't understand, you can observe these things I once again. Now whatever happened in this particular row, the same thing repeats to all the elements in the row. For example, if you see all the elements in row uh, column number 0, in column number 0, the first elements of that particular column in all the rows actually gets swapped with the last column and all the elements in the second column actually get swapped with the last second column. And if there are like 100 rows and 100 columns, the first with the 100, second with the 99th one, third with the 98th one and goes on like that. So I hope the question is very clear to you and how to approach this problem is also very clear to you. Now let's try writing the code or writing the algorithm for this particular logic. So algorithm would look something like this. For example, what I would like to do is rather than focusing on the whole of the problem, I would focus on just one row first. So I will pick this particular row, the 0th row and I will name this 0th row and I will have a variable for this 0th row and the variable uh, as of now I will pick it as i. So i will be pointing to all the different rows but as of now it is pointing to 0th row. Next, in this particular row itself I need to swap the first element with the last element. 
second element with the last second element and goes on like that. Now, if I have to do this particular thing, then definitely I need to have one variable pointing to the first index and one variable pointing to the last index. So, what I would do is I will take one variable pointing to the first index and I will name it as left and one more variable pointing to the right index or the last index and I will name it as right. So, I have two, in, uh, two pointers which are pointing to the index values. Now, what exactly I need to do is I just have to swap the element present in AR of I left or I can say the first element with the element present in the last uh, the last element present in the 0 row. How would I do that? Very simple. I would swap with AR of I left with AR of I right. If I swap this, it is already reversed. Only these two elements are in the right position now. Next, what is that I need to do? I need to swap the second element with the last second element. If I have to do this, then definitely I need the pointer 1 over here and the 1 over here. So, what exactly I need to do is I need to increment the value of left and decrement the value of right. So, if I increment the value of left and decrement the value of right, I am doing it right. Now, what I need to do? Just swap whatever is there in left index with the right index in the same row. So, it is nothing but AR of I left with AR of I right. Next, what is that I need to do? 13 I'm uh, sorry, 6 and 16 get swapped. Now, I am in center and if you see this particular element remains in the same place. So, what I will do is after that I will increase the value of left, increase, decrease the value of right. Both are meeting each other and if you observe the first row is already mirrored. So, when you need to stop this operation is when left meets right. So, how can we do this? Let us just write code for the first row alone. So, basically what I am doing over here is I am actually initializing the value of left and initializing the value of right. So, value of left will always remain 0. So, I will say left is equal to 0 over here. Next, right will always point to the last index. Now, the last index in this particular matrix is 4. But if the matrix size is 100 cross 100, it will be 99. If it is 50 cross 50, it will be 49. If it is 20 cross 20, it will be 19. So, it is changing actually, the right index changes. So, how can I get this right index? Very simple. Uh, the length of this particular row minus 1 is the index. So, in this case, the length of 0, uh, sorry, 0 row is nothing but 5, minus 1 is 4 and that is how I would get. So, how can I fetch this? Very simple. Since AR is pointing to this particular uh, matrix, I will say right is equal to AR of 0. AR of 0 will point to this particular row, the 0 row. Next dot length if I say I will get the length of that row. Next, I do not want the length, I want minus 1. So, length of this is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, so I will put minus 1 over here. So, left and right I have already initialized. Now, I need to do swapping, but swapping I will not be doing once, I will be doing it multiple times. So, when I will stop swapping, very simple. So, since I am doing it multiple times, definitely I need to make use of loop. So, what I will do is, I will just write while over here. Now, what is the condition inside while? I will let you know, but as of now, I will leave it blank. Inside this, what exactly I am doing is, I am swapping. How, what are the elements I am swapping? AR of I left. So, that is the element, AR of I left. With which element I am, am I swapping? If you see, AR of I right. So, I will write comma AR of I left. I am swapping these two elements. Once I am done with swapping, left is over here, right is over here, I need to decrease the value of left, increase the value of right. Since I have to decrease the value of left and increase the value of right, I need to write code for that. So, I will say left plus plus, right minus minus. Now, these three operations keeps on repeating over here. Till when will it repeat? Till the left value is on the left side and the right value is on the right side. When will it stop? When left is 0 and right is 4, it happens. So, left is smaller than right in that case. Next, left will be 1, right will be 3. It still happens. Left is smaller than right. When left is 2, right is 2, it stops. So, basically whenever the value of left is less than the value of right, only then these three sh operations should happen. So, what I will do is in while condition I will write left is less than right. So, this is one particular thing, they are these lines of code is something which will work for just one row. So, we are successful in actually uh, reversing the particular or mirroring the first row. Now, the same thing can be implemented for all the other rows present in this matrix. Now, how can I do that? Simple. If this row operation is working successfully, 
the same operation I will have to repeat for all the rows. So if I have to repeat the same operation for all the rows, simple repeat this means I need to make use of loop and do it for all the rows. How would I do that? Very simple. For which all row I need to do? I need to do it for 0th row, then 1 row, then 2 row, then 3 row, then 4 row. So I have to do basically for all the rows. How would I do that? I will just put this inside a loop. How would I put that inside a loop? Outside I will write 4 and I will start the value of i. From where should I start? I am starting from 0. And till where does it go? Till the last index. So I will say i to length of ar. This is all the logic that I have to do. Now, once I write code for that, I will be successful in actually reversing this particular matrix or mirroring this particular matrix. So now, let us go and write some code. Now, I have already created a matrix over here. Then I am calling a method called as reverse matrix and over here I have written reverse matrix but I have not written any logic inside that. But before that, I would actually like to call print matrix. And if you see print matrix, I have already written over here and the code for print matrix is very simple. In case if you don't know the code, please watch the previous video where I have explained print matrix. So if I just open print matrix, so you can clearly see this is the code. So it's basically traversing that particular matrix. That's all I am doing. So I, I will just close it. So let's focus on the logic. So before I actually uh, uh, reverse the matrix, I'd like to print the matrix. So what I will do is I will call print matrix and I'll pass the two dimensional array. Yes. Next after that I am calling reverse matrix and I am passing the same array over here. Now you know it is nothing but call by reference. So I do not have after reversing the array I do not have to return this particular array because changes is done in the same array. Now I will come over here and start writing the logic. Now what is the logic that I have to write? One for loop which takes care of all the rows. So I will say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than a dot length next i plus plus great now inside this i need to initialize two values so i is actually taking care of all the rows now what i need to do is i need to actually keep track of two indexes one on the left side one on the right side of the particular matrix so for left side i will create one variable called as int left is equal to zero because left will be always zero and right side it will be the last index so you know how to fetch the last index so i'll say int right is equal to ar of 0 it's pointing to the first row and the length of the first row so dot length next this will give you the length but the last index is always length minus 1 so i'll say right minus 1 great next i'll come inside and we need to do one while uh, condition so i'll say while while left is always less than right that is when we need to perform the operation. So, I will say left is less than right, I will come inside this. Now, inside this, I need to do the swapping operation. So, I will make use of third variable and do the swapping operation. But you can always write it in an efficient way. But I am writing by using third variable now. So, I will say int, I will create one temporary variable. So, I will say int temp is equal to. So, what is that I need to swap? I need to swap whatever is there in AR of i left with ar of i left right so what i'll do is whatever is there in ar of i left i will assign it to 10 so i'll say ar of i left so i have this whatever element is over there i have saved that in temp so whatever is there in ar of i right i will place it inside ar of i left how would i do that i'll say ar of i right is equal to equal to sorry ar of i not i right okay whatever is there in AR of I right, I will place inside AR of I left. So that should come on left side. So I will say AR of I left. Great. So I right, whatever is there in AR of I left is coming to 10. Whatever is there in I right has come to I left. Now what I need to do is whatever is there in temp, I need to bring it to AR of I right. How would I do that? I will say temp is equal to, sorry, not temp is equal to AR of I right is equal to temp. So whatever is there in temp will come to AR of I right. temp then put on selling. So these three lines will actually take care of swapping two numbers. I hope you are very well versed with this. In case if you do not even know this particular program then I am really surprised why you are actually studying these complex data structures and algorithms. These things should be very perfect before you study complex data structures and algorithms. Now coming back over here uh, what I need to do is left I need to increase and right I need to decrease. So I will say left plus plus right minus minus great this is all i had to do 
Now I hope this particular logic is completely clear to you guys. I don't have to reverse, uh, sorry, return this because it is called by reference. So whatever changes has been made will be done to this particular array as well. So I'll go to the main method. So after this, I'd like to print matrix. So I'll just duplicate this particular line and I'll bring it down. Now before I print, just to give one extra line of cap, I'll put one extra system dot out dot print line. Great. So first it will print the actual matrix, then it will print the mirrored matrix or the reverse matrix. So let's see what exactly are we getting as an output. So first I'd like to execute this and check if we are getting the expected output or not. So if you observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this has gone to the last row as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, whatever is there in 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 has come to the last second and if you observe all the rows, the last row has come to, as the first row over here. Sorry, last column has come as the first column over here. So I hope the logic and the code for this is completely clear to you guys. Now I would like to I would like you to actually write one more code. What is the code? Code is very simple. Over here I actually kept a mirror over here and whatever the mirrored output was there that is what I wrote. Now I want you guys to actually keep a mirror over here and then see what exactly you do get as an output. So basically again you will get the same output but now it's better that you keep one mirror over here, horizontal mirror. So if you keep one mirror over here, how the elements would look like is, first it will be 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, and then 1. Then it will be 10, 9, 6, 8. So I want you guys to keep a mirror over here and whatever the elements are, that is what I want you to print as an output. If you are not able to imagine what exactly it is, this is how it will look. If this is the input, this will be the output. So I want you guys to do this as an assignment because it's a very simple problem and in case if you are not able to solve this, do not worry, there is always a slack group. So over there you can po and go and put your questions and the mentors will clarify that for you.